the iPhone 18 Pro is nowhere near release, but plenty of claims have already been made about Apple's next flagship. Here's what the rumor mill thinks is coming. The iPhone 18 Pro is still more than a year away, yet Apple may already be lining up its most disruptive iPhone shift since the iPhone X. We're talking about under-display Face ID, the quiet death of Dynamic Island, a real mechanical camera upgrade, and a chip strategy that sets Apple up for the rest of the decade. This isn't concept phone fantasy or leaker fanfiction. These are repeating signals from analysts who are usually conservative, slow, and painfully accurate, which is exactly why you should pay attention. If you searched for iPhone 18 Pro leaks, iPhone 18 Pro rumors, or the iPhone 18 Pro release date, you're exactly where you should be. But this isn't going to be another feature list. The real story of the iPhone 18 Pro isn't what Apple is adding. It's what Apple is finally ready to remove. And once you see the pattern, you can't unsee it. Let's lock in the basics early so there's no confusion. This video is about the iPhone 18 Pro and iPhone 18 Pro Max, currently expected to launch in September 2026. We're talking about under display face ID, a punch hole front camera, a variable aperture rear camera system, the two nanometer A20 Pro chip, and a major shift in how Apple releases iPhones going forward. No wild guesses, no imaginary specs, just what the leak cadence and supply chain signals are actually telling us. Here's where it starts getting interesting. Apple never flips the table all at once. They move in layers, one major pillar at a time. And when you zoom out, the iPhone 18 Pro looks like the moment where several long delayed technologies finally converge. Start with the front of the phone because that's the part you look at every single day. Apple has been teasing under display Face ID for years. It appeared in analyst notes as far back as 2021, then got delayed, then delayed again, then quietly it's appeared. And suddenly, starting in mid-2025, the same claim starts resurfacing over and over from different sources that don't normally echo each other. That repetition matters more than any single leak. Multiple leakers now say the iPhone 18 Pro will keep Face ID but move the sensors under the display leaving only a small punch hole for the selfie camera. If that happens, Dynamic Island doesn't evolve. It simply disappears. And Apple won't frame that as a loss. They'll frame it as progress, pushing the idea of an almost uninterrupted display, approaching a 98% screen-to-body ratio, the most immersive iPhone screen ever. This is classic Apple behavior. When the headphone jack disappeared, Apple didn't apologize. They rebranded the loss as freedom. Dynamic Island was always a transitional solution, not the end game. A bridge until the hardware caught up. The reason this has taken so long isn't software, it's physics. Face ID relies on infrared projectors and sensors that struggle to function through OLED panels. What finally makes this believable is the supply chain detail pointing to under-display optical components from OTI Luminix. That's not the kind of detail that leaks unless Apple is testing real hardware at scale. If this lands, the iPhone 18 Pro instantly looks more modern than any iPhone in years, and that's before you even unlock it. But Apple never changes just one thing. They rebalance the entire device and that leads to a rumor that sounds boring until you understand what it implies. The iPhone 18 Pro Max could be the heaviest iPhone Apple has ever made, even heavier than the iPhone 14 Pro Max, landing somewhere around 243 grams. Apple hates unnecessary weight, so why would they accept that? The answer is mechanical cameras. Multiple reports now point to Apple finally introducing a variable aperture camera system on the iPhone 18 Pro, likely starting with the 48 megapixel periscope telephoto lens. This is not a software trick or a computational workaround. This is a physical aperture that opens and closes like a real camera lens. Right now, iPhones fake depth of field, 
Portrait Mode guesses algorithm simulate blur. It works, but it's artificial. A variable aperture physically controls light. Wide aperture for natural background separation. Narrow aperture for sharper landscapes. Real optical behavior instead of educated guesses. That mechanism requires motors. It takes space. It adds weight. Suddenly the heaviest iPhone ever rumor stops sounding like a mistake and starts sounding intentional. Apple reportedly wanted this for the iPhone 17 but didn't ship it. The fact that it reappears for the iPhone 18 Pro, now tied to specific suppliers like LG Inatec and Luxshare ICT, strongly suggests it has moved beyond theory and into working prototypes. And here's the smart part. Apple doesn't need to explain any of this to most users. They'll just show a low-light photo next to a competitor's washed-out mess and let social media do the convincing. Now let's talk performance, because this is where Apple quietly wins while everyone else chases benchmarks. The iPhone 18 Pro is expected to use Apple's A20 Pro chip, built on TSMC's 2 nanometer process. That alone brings an estimated 10 to 15% performance boost, but raw speed isn't the headline. Efficiency is. Leaks suggest up to 30% lower power consumption compared to the A19. That's not flashy marketing material. That's the kind of battery life improvement that feels boring in the best possible way. The kind reviewers stop mentioning because it just works. The deeper story is chip packaging. Apple is reportedly moving from info to WMCM packaging, which allows more flexible CPU and GPU configurations, higher memory bandwidth with LPDDR5X, and better scalability without exploding costs. This gives Apple headroom for future AI workloads, advanced camera processing, and features they aren't ready to name yet. Of course, this also brings pricing pressure. Multiple sources have warned that two nanometer chips are expensive. Apple rarely absorbs those costs forever. If the iPhone 18 Pro costs more, it won't be surprising. Now let's talk timing, because this change might matter more than any spec. Starting with the iPhone 18 generation, Apple is expected to split its iPhone launches into two events per year, with Pro models launching in September and base models arriving in the spring. This isn't about logistics, it's about attention. By isolating the Pro launch, Apple controls the narrative. Reviews, comparisons, and YouTube coverage stay focused on high-margin devices instead of drifting toward which one should you buy. The iPhone 18 Pro becomes the event. That also explains why Apple is stacking so many meaningful changes into this single model. So let me ask you something, and I want a real answer in the comments. If Apple removes Dynamic Island and gives you a truly full screen iPhone, do you care what replaces it or do you just want it gone? Before we wrap this up, there's one more design detail worth mentioning. Color. Leaks suggest Apple is experimenting with finishes like coffee, purple, and burgundy, possibly eliminating black again. More importantly, Apple may be changing how the rear glass is processed to remove the two-tone effect and create a more uniform back. It sounds subtle, but Apple obsesses over visual calm because it subconsciously signals refinement. When a product looks cleaner, people perceive it as more premium, even if they can't explain why. There was also a rumor about a transparent back showing the MagSafe coil. That feels more like a prototype experiment than a retail decision. Apple doesn't do transparent unless it serves an emotional story, not just visual curiosity. So here's the big picture. The iPhone 18 Pro isn't about one headline feature. It's about Apple finally cashing in on years of delayed bets. Under display face ID cleans up the front. Variable aperture cameras remove computational shortcuts. The A20 Pro lays the foundation for Apple's next phase of on-device intelligence, and the new release strategy ensures the Pro models get the spotlight they're built for. If this video helped you understand where Apple is actually heading, 
hit like right when that realization landed because that tells me to keep making deep dive breakdowns instead of surface level rumor recaps. And if you want the next logical step, check out the video on how Apple's split release strategy could quietly kill base model iPhone hype forever. It connects directly to everything we covered here. I'll leave you with this. Apple doesn't chase trends. They wait until the trend gets boring, then replace it with something that feels obvious in hindsight. And the iPhone 18 Pro might be the moment when all that hindsight arrives at once. See you next video. Peace out.